Hey, and welcome back to this YouTube channel. You're probably wondering what I'm doing with these straws. Well, I'm gonna make a thing called a lifter, which is an electrostatic machine that can fly. And normally people make those out of very light things, such as balsa wood. Now it's not very easy to cut and work with balsa wood, and also it has to be glued together. But with straws, you don't need all the glue, and they're much easier to work with. So let me just show you how I'm gonna make my electrostatic lifter using um, these straws alone. So they have to be the straws that have this bendy part here. Without that, it's gonna be difficult to do. So just bend it and you can see, it, you can make it into a triangle because the lifter is triangle shaped. Now the end here, what you do is pinch it like that and then fold it over on itself so it becomes pointy. When it's pointy, you can poke it into this end, the bendy part, and just put it in like this. So now you've got part of a triangle. Now you just do the same thing again with this side. So you get the end, you pinch it like this, you fold it over on itself like that. So now you've got a pointy part, bendy end. And now you can see what we're getting at. Now we have to put this end here into that end here and then insert it in here. And now we have our easily made, very light, triangle which is excellent for an electrostatic lifter and um, before you do anything more with this though this has to be covered over in baking foil now you don't want to use the heavy uh, the heavy duty baking foil you want to use the the regular thin baking foil um, because weight is an important thing when you're making an electrostatic lifter so what you do is you just simply wrap the baking foil around this and I'm going to show you that in a second. So we're going to cover this triangle over in baking foil. And here's your regular baking foil. So you get little strips of baking foil. You don't have to cut them really accurate and you simply you want them to be about the size of one of the sides of the triangles. You can just tear it like that. It doesn't have to be real accurate and that's the beauty of this. And then you just wrap it around like this. So let me just show you how I'm going to do that. So you're going to get it like this and just wrap it around like that. And then tear it off the excess. So now you have foil around part of your triangle like that. And you do that for all four, all three sides. So the legs are made with more straws. What you do is these are these have these this flexible part. You just want to cut it off there. You want it about that long, just a little bit shorter than it, than the full length of the straw. So that's going to be the legs. And you're going to say, how are we going to get these legs on this triangle? And I found an easy way to do that. You need a little little scalpel, and be careful when you do this because you want to cut yourself. But just simply cut a hole through the the triangle part there. So let me just show you how I'm going to do that gonna press, make sure your finger's not on the other side. Just simply cut a small hole, big enough to fit a straw. Now to get this straw through that hole, you're gonna have to do this thing again. You just have to pinch the end, fold it over on itself like that, and then um, insert it through the hole that you just made. So there you go. And then just push the straw right through. And you can pull it through. And you can actually adjust the length of the legs, which is kind of important when you're making these things. So there's one of the legs, right there. So that's part of your lifter. Now to secure this uh, foil in place, because this thing is gonna move around like this, you wanna use um, adhesive aluminum tape, which you can get from any hardware store. Here's some adhesive aluminum tape. Just tear off little strips. You don't wanna use a lot because this, this tape is heavy. Just enough to secure it. So I want it to go all, all the way up to an end here. So I'm gonna secure it on the end, like that. You can even cut, if you've got tape on this, on this corner, you can still cut a hole through it and insert um, another straw through the hole. And let me show you one that I just completed and is ready to, to run. So here's one that is completed and you can see that I've got the legs of it. It's gonna stand like that. This is gonna be the negative part. You could also make this positive. And I've put a very thin wire it's about two inches, you can't even see it, but there's, there's a wire 
that is wrapped around all three of these top parts, which is going to be your positive part. And uh, we're going to test this out. This design has not been tested for flying. Most of the ones that you see have foil that's wrapped over to form a sort of a, a foil skirt around it. So I've never actually tested this and don't know if this is going to work. But the secret to getting these to work is that you want them to be light. You want the wire to be a reasonable height. If the wire is not, if the wire is too close to this, it's going to arc across when you put your high voltage DC on it. So it has to have um, enough spacing and I'm using about two inches. And then the other trick, which they don't tell you about, is the wire has to be really, really thin and it has to be uncoated wire. This wire is about as thin as a human hair. This is 42 gauge wire, it's nichrome wire. And what I did was I simply took this wire and I wrapped it around one leg and then just taped it with some uh, adhesive metal tape. Then I just went around the, the other leg, wrapped it around a couple of times and did it, then did it to the third leg a couple of times, then back and then taped it. So now you have a wire, a very thin wire that goes all around that. Let me see if I can get you a close up of that. So as you can see, there's some very, very thin wire there wrapped around. Let's go ahead and test these things out to see if they really work. So here's one where instead of wrapping the foil around the straws, I just kind of laid it over the top of the straws. The important thing is to have this end non-sharp and that one, it doesn't matter. So the top of it has to be non-sharp. Here's the very thin wire and um, I've, I've secured it in place with some thread to this piece of styrofoam and you want to uh, apply power to this. So you want to apply high voltage DC, which you can make from a voltage multiplier. So this top wire here, which is just magnet wire, uh, I, I sanded the end of it to get the insulation off the magnet wire and then connected it to the top wire just with some tape. I just actually just wrapped it around. And then the bottom, which is for my, which is negative, I just used some adhesive aluminum tape to attach it to the foil skirt. So that's what it looks like. So we're gonna test this one first. This is the traditional electrostatic lifter that um, people have been making in project books. So let's test it out. So we're gonna put some power into it now. I'm gonna put um, about 100 kilovolts and we're gonna watch it. There it goes. So you have levitation, electrostatic levitation. The reason the threads are there is because it's not that stable, it may flip on itself, or it may move towards the um, power source and cause a short circuit. So the threads just kind of hold it at a safe distance and prevent it from doing anything silly. So this works really well. And I'm gonna do another experiment in a different video where I'm gonna reverse the polarity to see if it makes a difference. Now we're gonna turn the power down and land it. Now let's try with our other prototype, which does not have the foil skirt. It just has foil wrapped around the straw. Now we're gonna test this. So um, it's all wired up and ready to go. And uh, I'm gonna apply about the same voltage that I did to the other one. Oh, it's trying to, it's trying to lift up the voltage a bit more. It's really trying and I can feel an ionic wind, but there's no lift, absolutely no lift whatsoever. So, the foil skirt configuration is definitely necessary. Thanks for watching. Please don't forget to like and subscribe.